all week long, we've been centered on Central Street, highlighting some of the best spots on one of the busiest streets in town. Abby, Russell, Mike are all at Wild Love Bakehouse this morning. And thanks for reminding us that we just have the old newsroom coffee here. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm feeling bad for you right now <laughs> because this is delicious. <laughs> and we've got croissants cooking in the back, which yes. is amazing. You can see the pastry chefs behind us. I think they may have moved some to the front here. We'll see in a moment. All right, Heather, thank you. All right, we are going to talk about some of the businesses that have come a long way and have really started up here on Central Street. The development is crazy right now. Yeah, from the outside, the Time Warp team room, Tea Room has all the decor of kind of a motorcycle shop. It is a theme that continues inside as you step into a space filled with Knoxville memorabilia. Well, it was a music and motorcycles shop that's Excuse me, it was music and motorcycles that started it all for owner Dan Moriarty. 32 years ago, he first used the building to maintain jukeboxes and pinball machines for other businesses. An avid biker, he's traveled all over the country and started collecting vintage pieces, parts, and other antiques. And those items found a home in October of 2002. He opened the Time Warp Tea Room. Newspapers and old photos cover the walls along with other rescued pieces of Knoxville's past. Even the booths were salvaged from an old Knoxville restaurant. You can grab a coffee, you can grab something to eat there as well. Moriarty says he's seen Central Street change constantly and is excited to see the growth. He welcomes the curiosity seekers to stop in for his uh, coffee or his tea and a mini museum that he has going it's on It's incredible there. over there. Yeah, Leslie got to go shoot this story and she said, it's fascinating and he's fascinating. So go chat with good old Mr. Moriarty. Yes. All right.